So if you've watched this channel before, you know we're all about getting great stuff without spending a fortune, and maybe thinking out of the box a little bit. And in fact, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. We're taking a secondhand bike and we're going to convert it into an e-bike using a kit. Now I've actually been sent the kit, which is here. I haven't opened it yet. I have actually done uh, e-bike conversions before, but in the past I have done rear wheel conversions where the uh, drive is on the rear wheel. This is a mid drive uh, kit. It's a better quality kit and it actually drives the bike from the pedals, not from the wheel itself. So it'll be very interesting to see how we get on. First thing we're gonna do is unbox and see what we've got. Right, so this is the box that I was, I was sent. So it'd be interesting to see what they've actually sent me. Okay. Oh, okay, they're both very big. Let's put this here a minute. And this one. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, so let's have a look at the first of these two packages. Uh, I believe I've been sent a battery as well. Now, ordinarily, when you do an e-bike kit, you order the battery and the kit separately. Uh, in this case, I've got them both here. So we have a nicely built 36 volt, 11 amp hour battery. I've actually, I've actually used a few of these in the past. Um, not the 36 volt, actually the 48, but this is a nice solid housing. And as you can probably see there, we've got, uh, got some charge in the battery already. Got some keys for it. And some safety instructions. Now I'm guessing this is gonna be a power supply. Yep, and it's got a nice UK plug on it, which is great. So no uh, requirement to put another plug on. Okay, so this here is gonna be the kit, hopefully. Aha, right. Not actually sure what that is. I've had them sent to me before. I think it's like a sort of a scarf or a bandana. This has actually got some bullet connectors in it as well. Um, could, be, could, could be quite useful when uh, fitting it together. That is, I believe, to help remove the existing uh, pedals. Useful little tool, that. Pedal arms. So I'm guessing we can't use our existing ones. Certainly doesn't do any harm to have any, to have some spares. That. That looks like a speed detector of some kind. And it's got a connector on the end there. So there's a magnet that I think will go on the wheel itself. Uh, and this goes on the frame. So as the wheel goes round, it can see how fast the bike is actually traveling. We've actually got a couple of zip ties here. Which I think of connecting that. This, is this bad boy is the actual motor so this will sit where the pedals are and it's a really nice bit of kit actually i have to say uh, crucially we have here one two two connectors and then the battery connector uh, now what is interesting is there is no control unit. So I think it all happens in there. What we got here, we have a throttle. Yep, it's a throttle. We have an LCD screen, which has some connectors on it. And I think I 
Yeah, some connectors there. I think that's for the two brake levers and the throttle. And two brake levers. So one thing immediately strikes me, which is oh, there's this little controller here as well. So I think that's for the um, I think that's for the control screen there. So one thing immediately um, strikes me, which is that if we're going to use these brake levers, which I think we should, because uh, there is a danger with an e-bike that you you pedal and you brake at the same time. And of course, you're going to wear your brakes out, and it's just not a good idea. So uh, that's why these kits come with these brake levers because they've actually got switches in them uh, and once you connect those into the control unit that will then stop you from actually being able to power the motor when you have the brake um, pulled like that so um, yes we should use those but the current donor bike I've got has brake levers with gear selectors built in so what I'm gonna have to do is buy a separate gear selector system so we can use these as well um, these are nice quality actually they're metal Actually, probably an improvement on the ones that are actually on the donor bike. So, let's have a quick look at the instructions. And interestingly, they are nicely laid out, <laughs> but Yeah, there's the, there's the um, speed sensor. Yeah, interesting. They assume that you've already removed your existing pedals by the looks of things. And there is no information about how you fit the throttle and the brakes. So that is something that I'm going to have to kind of work out myself. Hopefully I will be uh, able to sort of forge the way for you. So there we go. There is the kit. Uh, I have to say, First impressions are it's actually pretty well made. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see how it goes on the bike. My guess is it actually will be more straightforward than some of the uh, rear wheel drive kits I fitted just purely because there's no controller unit. So less cables to run. So hopefully a neater installation. We'll see how we get on. So this is the donor bike that I've chosen. I actually bought this one from a friend, but you can pick these up for around the 70, 80 pound mark from places like Facebook Marketplace if you shop around. Um, the key features I'm interested in are these disc brakes here, which are cable operated. Really helpful when you've got the extra power of the e-bike kit. And likewise, um, these shock absorbers here, really helpful when you've got that extra speed going over sort of bumpy terrain. And actually a very important feature is this space here. Now that is the natural place you're going to want to put your control unit and your battery. And so the more space you have here, the more options you have. In our case, we're not actually going to need to find a space for the control unit because it's actually built into the motor. But if you were doing a rear wheel or front wheel conversion, that's even more important. Something else I like about the bike is it's 28 inch wheels, which means this space here is a little bit higher, giving us a little bit more clearance from the motor, which is going to sit underneath the pedals there. One thing that's not so great is that these gear shifters are built into the brake levers and the brake levers are going to be replaced because we're going to use the ones in the kit, which means we actually have to replace the gear shifters as well. And in fact, we only need to put one gear shifter in because this derailleur here is going to have to go because the kit only has one set of teeth, which means there's no reason to have any sort of mechanism to shift those gears. And looking at that bottom bracket there, obviously make sure that the bike is the right size for the kit that you've got. In this case, it's a JIS 6873 bracket. So that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm actually going to do the build. If you've enjoyed this, please do click the like button and please do subscribe. And if you want to no be notified when the next video is up, click on that bell as well. Hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.